PKU is uh, one of the uh, oldest recognized inborn errors of metabolism. It affects the uh, body's ability to metabolize phenylalanine, one of the amino acids, which are the building block blocks of protein. Normally uh, in, in the body, uh, in the cells, phenylalanine is, is uh, metabolized uh, to a second amino acid called tyrosine. And uh, the enzyme that does that is called phenylalanine hydroxylase or PAH. Uh, individuals with PKU have a mutation in the gene for PAH or have mutations because you have to have two copies of the gene um, uh, affected before you get into, uh, before you have the disease. Um, and they can no longer uh, perform that reaction. The end result is that um, the phenylalanine accumulates in the bloodstream and the tissues, and, uh, and, and uh, that turns out to be toxic to the brain. So while the body itself actually looks completely normal, these individuals have essentially, uh, un untreated, have essentially no neurodevelopmental, um, uh, 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 have, have no neurodevelopment. So they're, they're, they're quite intellectually impaired. They also have uh, very difficult to control uh, movement disorders and, uh, and, and behavioral issues. So it's really a terrible disease, uh, quite devastating. Um, it, it was, um, as, as, as a result, also one of the diseases that, that generated a lot of interest um, 50 plus years ago uh, when, when newborn screening was, was first being uh, examined. And uh, because in families where uh, a first child was identified with PKU, uh, subsequent children could be tested early and treated, uh, it, was, it was recognized that individuals who were treated from birth uh, actually did quite well. Uh, and, and so in the end, uh, PKU ended, was, was the first uh, disorder uh, screened for by newborn screening uh, in a, a couple of pilot projects in New York State and Massachusetts, uh, and ultimately was uh, the first uh, disorder also screened uh, nationwide uh, for in, in, in all babies born. Thank you.